Following the nation's current economic challenges, the government is in talks with the International Monetary Fund for a bailout. As part of negotiations for the program, the government needs to restructure the country's debt to qualify for the IMF bailout. The finance minister in his presentation of the 2023 budget statement announced a debt restructuring for domestic bondholders. This will ultimately affect the interest payments of about 94% of Tier 2 contributions, which has been invested in government securities. General Secretary of the Health Services Workers Union, Franklin Ousuansa, addressing a press conference on Sunday, said any attempt to touch their Tier 2 pension funds would be putting the future of workers at risk. Workers were made to believe that there would not be any haircut on pension funds. The President of the Republic of Ghana reaffirmed and reassured Ghanaian workers on this. The attempt to touch the pensions and pension funds in the quest to restructure debts means that the govern government is tempering with the present and future of workers who had the hope of sacrificing today to have a better future tomorrow. Furthermore, pensions and investment is being put at risk by the actions of the government. The promulgation of Act 766 in 2008 was to resolve the problem of inadequate and low pensions that were received by workers. The second tier was designed primarily to give contributors higher lump sum benefits. In the light of these, anything short of what we are expecting will bring calamity to workers. We are on this premise assuring the government that the Health Services Workers Union shall resist any attempt, and I repeat, we shall resist any attempt by the government to give any kind of haircut whatsoever on pensions because our future is at risk.